in today's video. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a queen? Not just any queen, but Queen Elizabeth II. If you're new to this channel, my name is Nikki. If you like this kind of content, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history. Imagine the weight of the crown, the responsibility, the privilege, the scrutiny. It's a position that requires nerves of steel, a heart full of compassion, and a mind as sharp as a sword. Queen Elizabeth II has held this position with grace and dignity for an impressive number of years, dwarfing the reign of all her predecessors. Her reign, spanning over seven decades, is a testament to her unwavering dedication to her country and the Commonwealth. It's a reign that has seen the world change in unimaginable ways. From the end of the British Empire to the digital revolution, and through it all, she has remained a constant, a symbol of continuity and stability in an ever-changing world. This reign is not just about its length, though that, in itself, sets her apart from other monarchs. It's about the impact she's had, the challenges she's faced, and the way she's navigated through tumultuous times. It's about a reign that has shaped the monarchy and the nation. A reign that has, indeed, been like no other. In this video, we will explore the life and times of Queen Elizabeth II. We will discuss the pivotal moments of her reign, the trials and triumphs, the personal and the political. We will delve into the evolution of the monarchy under her rule and the enduring legacy she will leave behind. We will also explore the relationship she has with her people, her family, and the Commonwealth. And how these relationships have been integral to her reign. We will examine the records she has set, the traditions she has upheld, and the ones she has broken. This is a journey through a reign that has spanned generations. A reign that has witnessed history being made and has in many ways helped shape it. It's a journey through a reign like no other. Join us as we delve into the life and legacy of Queen Elizabeth II. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor was not born to be queen, yet destiny had its own plans. Born on the 21st of April in the year 1926, Elizabeth was the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York later known as King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. However, her birthright did not initially include the throne. She was third in line, behind her uncle, Edward, Prince of Wales, and her father. But the course of her life changed dramatically in 1936. Edward VI, her uncle, ascended to the throne following the death of King George V. Yet, his reign was short-lived. He fell deeply in love with Wallace Simpson, an American divorcee. The Church of England and the government disapproved of the match, but Edward was resolute, choosing love over duty. In December of the same year, he abdicated and the throne was passed to Elizabeth's father, who became King George's the this unexpected turn of events thrust Elizabeth into the spotlight as the heir presumptive. The quiet, reserved girl who was being educated at home by her mother and a governess suddenly found herself preparing for a future as queen. She was just 10 years old, but her life had taken a turn that would shape not just her destiny, but also the future of the British monarchy. Elizabeth's childhood was no longer ordinary. She began to take on royal duties and started to learn about the country she would one day lead. Her father's guidance and the love of her family helped her navigate these challenging times. She was groomed to be a queen 
trained in the art of diplomacy, and taught to carry the weight of the crown with grace. The young princess's life was a whirlwind of change, but she faced it with resilience and determination. Her destiny was not one she had chosen, but it was one she accepted with grace and duty. A quiet childhood suddenly turned into a life destined for the throne. The young princess's life took a dramatic turn with the death of her father in 1952. Suddenly thrust into the limelight, Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, at the tender age of 25, found herself bearing the weight of the crown and the hopes of an entire nation. The circumstances of her ascent were as poignant as they were pivotal. King George the Siskiyou's untimely passing marked the end of an era and the dawn of a new one. The young princess was in Kenya on a goodwill tour when she received the heartbreaking news. She returned home as Queen Elizabeth II, the first British monarch in over three centuries to ascend to the throne while abroad. Her coronation held in Westminster Abbey on June 2, 1953, was a spectacle of pomp and pageantry, a vibrant display of British tradition. The eyes of the world watched as the Archbishop of Canterbury placed St. Edward's crown on her head, symbolizing her acceptance of the duties and responsibilities of the monarchy. It was a solemn moment, steeped in centuries-old rituals that marked the beginning of her reign. The early years of her rule were a whirlwind of change and challenges. As a young queen, Elizabeth navigated the complexities of post-war Britain, reshaping the monarchy and modernizing it for a new era. Her reign was marked by an emphasis on duty and service, a testament to her dedication to the people she served. She faced the task with grace and determination, displaying a level of maturity and wisdom beyond her years. Her reign was characterized by her, deep sense of responsibility and her unwavering commitment to her role. Indeed, her words on her 21st birthday, when she dedicated her life to the service of the Commonwealth, echoed in the actions and decisions she made. A new era had begun, with a young queen at its helm. The ascension of Queen Elizabeth II was not just a transition of power, but a turning point in history. Her reign, marked by resilience and reform, would go on to shape the monarchy and the nation in ways that still resonate today. Queen Elizabeth II faced a daunting task, guiding the monarchy into the modern age. As she ascended to the throne, she was acutely aware that the world was changing rapidly and that the monarchy would need to change with it. The queen understood that the monarchy needed to keep pace with the world, not just to survive, but to thrive and remain relevant. One of the most significant steps she took was deciding to televise her coronation in 1953. It was a bold move that brought the monarchy into the living rooms of millions of people around the world. This decision was not without controversy, but the Queen insisted, recognizing the power of television as a way to connect with her subjects in an intimate and personal way. This trend of transparency and accessibility continued as she allowed cameras into Buckingham Palace for a groundbreaking documentary in the late 60s. The Queen allowed the people a glimpse into the royal life, not as a distant, untouchable figure, but as a human being with a family, duties, and responsibilities. This move helped to demystify the monarchy, making it more relatable and approachable to the general public. The Queen also understood that to modernize the monarchy, she needed to not just embrace new technology, 
but also to be seen as a leader in its use. She was the first monarch to send an email way back in 1976, long before many had even heard of the internet. Throughout her reign, Queen Elizabeth II has pushed the boundaries, breaking tradition when necessary, and always looking for ways to bring the monarchy closer to the people. Whether it was televising royal events, opening the doors of Buckingham Palace to the public, or embracing new technology, the Queen was not afraid to take risks and make changes. The Queen was not just adapting to the times, she was setting the pace. She has shown that the monarchy can be both an enduring symbol of continuity and a dynamic institution capable of evolving with the times. Even the longest reign is not without its trials and tribulations. Weaving through the tapestry of Queen Elizabeth II's reign, you'll find thread of crisis and controversy that have tested the mettle of the monarchy. The early 1960s brought the Profumo Affair, a scandal that rocked the British government to its core. Queen Elizabeth was faced with the task of safeguarding the monarchy's reputation amidst a storm of political intrigue and public outrage. Her steady hand during this tumultuous time demonstrated her commitment to her role and her ability to navigate the choppy waters of scandal. Fast forward to the late 90s, and the world was shaken by the tragic death of Princess Diana. The Queen's initial silence was met with public outrage, a stark contrast to the sea of flowers outside the Buckingham Palace. Her subsequent tribute to Diana Shoka said her ability to adapt to public sentiment, delivering a heartfelt speech that resonated with the nation in mourning. More recent controversies have seen the Queen face criticism for her handling of Prince Andrew's association with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein and the departure of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from royal duties. Each of these events have presented unique challenges, but the Queen has consistently demonstrated resilience and an unwavering commitment to the monarchy. Yet, it's not just the high-profile crises that have tested the Queen. Throughout her reign, she has dealt with personal heartaches, from the death of her beloved sister Margaret to the loss of her husband, Prince Philip. These personal crises have added another layer of complexity to her role as monarch, requiring her to balance her public duties with her private grief. Through it all, the Queen remained steadfast. Her reign is marked by strength and resilience, a testament to her dedication to her role and her country. As we delve deeper into her reign, we'll find that these crises have not defined her, but rather, they have shaped the legacy she continues to build. As we look back on the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, what legacy will she leave behind? The Queen's legacy is as expansive as it is profound. She has navigated through the uncharted waters of a rapidly changing society, while holding firm to the traditions that formed the bedrock of the monarchy. Her efforts to modernize the monarchy, from embracing technology to opening the doors of the royal residences to the public, have brought the crown closer to the people. This delicate balance between tradition and progress is perhaps one of the most enduring aspects of her legacy. In the realm of British and global politics, Queen Elizabeth II has been a steady hand on the tiller. Through over 20 prime ministers and countless global events, her leadership has been a testament to the power of stability in an unstable world. She has been a unifying figure, 
a beacon of continuity amidst the ebb and flow of political tides. Her influence on future monarchs is already evident. Her children and grandchildren have taken up the mantle of public service, guided by the Queen's example of duty and devotion. And as they navigate their own paths, they carry with them the lessons learned from a monarch who has reigned with grace and grit. Yet, the Queen's legacy extends beyond the walls of the palace. She has become a symbol of resilience and dedication, inspiring millions around the world. Her reign has been a masterclass in leadership, showing us that strength is not just about wielding power, but also about serving with humility and grace. In her over seven decades on the throne, Queen Elizabeth II has left an indelible mark on the monarchy in the world. She has shown us that it is possible to honor tradition while embracing change, to lead with strength while serving with humility, and to reign with power while touching hearts with kindness. Her reign has been a testament to the power of continuity in a world of change. Indeed, the legacy of Queen Elizabeth II is one that will echo through the annals of history long after her reign has ended. Queen Elizabeth II has always held a special connection with her subjects. This connection, built on decades of service, devotion and love, transcends the usual boundaries of a monarch and her kingdom. From her very first Christmas message in 1952, the Queen has used this annual tradition to reach out directly to her people, sharing her thoughts, her hopes, and her reflections on the year gone by. These messages broadcast to millions around the globe have become a comforting, familiar presence in homes across Britain and beyond a testament to the Queen's enduring relevance in an ever-changing world. But it's not just through the airwaves that the Queen connects with her subjects. Throughout her reign, she has been a constant presence at public engagements, from grand state occasions to local community events. Her tireless dedication to these engagements her genuine interest in the lives of her people, and her unerring grace in even the most challenging of circumstances have endeared her to generations. The Queen's relationship with her subjects is one of mutual respect and affection. It's seen in the warm greetings she receives on walkabouts, the heartfelt letters written by everyday citizens, and the outpouring of support in times of national crisis. It's a relationship that has been nurtured with care, patience, and a deep sense of duty. And it's not just the British people who hold the Queen in high regard. Around the world, she is recognized as a symbol of stability, continuity, and strength, her reign a beacon of hope in an often tumultuous world. So, as we reflect on the relationship between Queen Elizabeth II and her people, we see a bond that goes beyond duty or tradition. It's a bond forged in shared history, shared triumphs, and shared challenges. It's a bond that speaks to the heart of what it means to be a monarch in the modern world. A queen of the people for the people. Queen Elizabeth II is not just the Queen of the United Kingdom, but also the head of the Commonwealth. This role, though largely symbolic, has been an intrinsic part of her reign and her persona. The Commonwealth is a political association of 54 member states, nearly all of which are former territories of the British Empire. The Queen's role in this expanse is complex and multifaceted. She is a symbol of continuity, a thread that links these diverse nations together, reminding them of a shared history and common values. 
Her role is not just about maintaining unity among member nations, but also about fostering a sense of community and shared identity. Throughout her reign, Queen Elizabeth II has made it a priority to visit as many Commonwealth nations as possible. These visits have not been merely ceremonial. They've been a chance to engage with the people of these nations, to hear their concerns, to celebrate their achievements. She's also used her influence to help steer the Commonwealth towards progressive values. She's championed issues such as gender equality, environmental conservation, and the fight against climate change. Her speeches at Commonwealth heads of government meetings have often addressed these issues, encouraging member nations to take action. Moreover, the Queen's influence has played a crucial role in the development of the Commonwealth. Under her watch, the Commonwealth has evolved from an association of Britain and its former colonies to an independent organization that promotes democracy, human rights, and economic development among its member nations. The Queen's role in the Commonwealth is perhaps best exemplified by the Commonwealth Commission. Every four years, athletes from across the Commonwealth come together to compete, and it's the Queen who officially opens the Games. It's a moment that captures the spirit of the Commonwealth, diverse nations coming together in friendly competition, united under the watchful eye of the Queen. A Queen of many nations uniting them under a common banner. In the end, that's what Queen Elizabeth II's role in the Commonwealth is all about. Unity in diversity, a shared history, and a common future. Behind the crown and the title, Queen Elizabeth II is a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother. A true embodiment of family values, she has always been the cornerstone of her family a beacon of strength and stability amidst the stormy seas of royal life. The Queen's steadfast partner for over seven decades was Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Their love story began during the tumultuous years of the Second World War. The young princess was smitten by the dashing naval officer, and they married in the year 1947. Their union was not just a marital alliance, but a partnership, a companionship that weathered countless challenges and changes. The royal couple had four children, Charles, Anne, Andrew, and Edward. Each of them unique, they were raised under the discerning eyes of their parents, brought up to understand the weight of their responsibilities. The Queen, despite her demanding role, always prioritized her role as a mother, ensuring she was present in her children's lives. As time passed, the family tree expanded. The Queen's children married and had children of their own, and she became a doting grandmother. She has always had a special bond with her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. They brought a new wave of joy and vitality to her life, keeping her connected with the younger generation and the changing times. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing. The royal family has weathered storms and scandals, heartbreaks and setbacks like any other family. Yet, throughout it all, the queen has remained a pillar of strength, guiding her family with grace, wisdom, and an unwavering sense of duty. Her family life is a testament to her character. It shows us that beneath the imperial robes and the jeweled crown, there is a woman who loves deeply, cares profoundly, and cherishes her family. It reminds us that despite her extraordinary circumstances, she shares the same joys and sorrows, trials and triumphs that come with being part of a family. A queen, yes, but also a woman, a mother, a human being. 
the Queen's family is her greatest legacy, a testament to her enduring love, resilience, and dedication. In her long reign, Queen Elizabeth II has broken numerous records. Once a young woman stepping into a role she never expected to inherit so soon, Queen Elizabeth II has now made history as the longest reigning monarch in British history. She surpassed the previous record holder, her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, who reigned for 63 years and seven months. Yet, this is not the only record the Queen holds. She is also the oldest monarch in the world. It's a testament to her robust health and unwavering dedication to her role as she continues to serve her country well into her 90s. Her age and longevity, in no small part, contribute to the breadth of her reign and the depth of her experience. We must remember, she has seen the world change from the post-war era to the digital age, and she has adapted her reign accordingly. But let's not forget another record she holds. Queen Elizabeth is the first British monarch to reach the age of 90 and then to surpass it. It's an achievement that speaks volumes about her resilience and her commitment to her duty. And there's more. She's also the first monarch in history to have a sapphire jubilee, marking a remarkable 70 years on the throne. This milestone was celebrated with the usual pomp and ceremony, reflecting the Queen's significant role in the nation's history and the respect she commands. And finally, let's not forget that she's the most widely traveled monarch in British history. She's visited over 116 countries during her reign, more than any of her predecessors. These records are not just numbers. They encapsulate a lifetime of service, of duty, and of devotion to her country and her people. They speak to the character of a woman who has dedicated her life to the service of others and has done so with grace, dignity, and an unwavering sense of duty. A queen for the record books, indeed. As Queen Elizabeth II's reign continues, questions about the future of the monarchy inevitably arise. The British monarchy, steeped in tradition and history, is facing a future where it must adapt to an ever-changing world. The inevitable question is, who will take the throne after Queen Elizabeth II? The line of succession is clear. Her eldest son, Charles, Prince of Wales, is next in line, followed by his eldest son, Prince William. Yet it's not just about who will wear the crown, but how they will lead. In the modern age, the monarchy is more than just a symbol of national unity. It's a brand, a living piece of history that must remain relevant and relatable. The future monarchs will need to balance tradition with innovation, continuing the work Queen Elizabeth II started in modernizing the monarchy. They will face challenges, of course. The British monarchy, like any long-standing institution, has had its share of controversies and criticisms. The new monarch will need to navigate these challenges with grace and wisdom, mindful of the monarchy's role and its relationship with the public. There's also the question of the monarchy's role in the Commonwealth. This association of 54 nations, largely former territories of the British Empire, has a symbolic connection to the monarchy. The future monarch will need to ensure this relationship remains strong and beneficial, fostering unity and cultural exchange. Another aspect to consider is the influence of the digital age. The monarchy has already seen the impact of social media and the 24-hour news cycle. The future monarch will need to continue to adapt and evolve, 
leveraging these platforms to connect with a global audience. And finally, there's the personal element. The future monarch will need to fill the shoes of Queen Elizabeth II, a beloved figure who has reigned for over seven decades. They will need to carry forward her legacy while forging their own path. Whatever the future holds, the reign of Queen Elizabeth II will always be a hard act to follow. As we reflect on the life and reign of Queen Elizabeth II, one thing is clear. Her story is one of destiny, ascension, modernization, crisis, legacy, connection, family, records, and the future. A child of destiny born not knowing the mantle she would one day bear, Elizabeth was propelled into a life of service from a young age. Her ascension to the throne, following the untimely death of her father, King George VI, marked the beginning of a reign like no other. Throughout her time on the throne, Queen Elizabeth has been a beacon of modernization. She embraced change, from televised coronations to social media accounts, ensuring the monarchy remained relevant in an ever-evolving world. But her reign was not without its crises. Yet, each time, she emerged stronger. Her resilience a testament to her commitment to her role and her people. Her legacy is profound. As the longest reigning monarch in British history, she has been a constant presence a figure of stability in an unstable world. Her connection to her people, both within the United Kingdom and across the Commonwealth, is unparalleled. Her dedication to service, her unwavering sense of duty, has endeared her to millions. Queen Elizabeth's family has been an integral part of her life and reign. From the joys of motherhood to the challenges of balancing family and duty, her experiences echo those of families around the world. Her reign has seen records broken and milestones achieved, a testament to her longevity and dedication. The future of the monarchy, under her successor, will no doubt be influenced by her reign, her steadfast commitment to duty, her ability to adapt and modernize, will serve as a blueprint for future monarchs. Queen Elizabeth II, a monarch like no other, whose legacy will endure long after her reign has ended. Thank you for watching. See you in my next upload.